Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, yet another massive video. We're seeing a continued dip in the market. So I've got a bit of a teaching, a bit of a lesson today in technical analysis, something really, really simple to use. You just need to learn how to do it. So I'm gonna show you that in just a moment. We've got a little bit of news to get through. Essentially, the main news that's out there in regards to Bitcoin, I'm seeing a narrative shift when it comes to bullish and bearish sentiment. And I'll explain that in just a moment. But first I wanna say thank you very much. At the time of this recording, we're about 200 subs short of 100,000. I never thought I would get there in the end, but after all these years, we're nearly there. 100,000 subscribers coming up. So I do have that giveaway coming up as well. I won't make a big long post about it. You can see more about it in the description. Drop your email address by clicking the link in the description down below and your chance to win one of three 12 month memberships to the uh, Investor Accelerator membership where you can learn how to do what I'm about to show you in today's video in more detail, rotating your profits into other asset classes and using this technical analysis on many, many, many other markets. All right, Twitter, my Twitter account, I've, I'm active again. All right, we're nearly at 2000 Twitter followers. Go and follow me over there. I like to post uh, I'm going to do some stories and I like to post about other um, news that I'm seeing come up. I do a little bit of repost as well. I, I follow some different stuff to the mainstream that you generally see in crypto Twitter over there. So go and check that out if you're interested. Drop me an emoji over there on that tweet. Let me know that you're following over there. I only have one real, not with double L's or double Z's or double whatever, one real account. So don't DM me about uh, you know, is this your account? I have one account, just like I do on Instagram. YouTube community, small large caps, altcoins under the radar. I wanted to show you guys this. I put a post out a couple of days, so we'll go through this in a future video, but I want to say thank you for dropping your your uh, cryptocurrencies, shilling them out here. Thank you very much, guys. Looking good, we'll get into that. If you want to know more about that, of course, subscribe to the channel, like the video up, show your support. Uh, let's see if we can get it to 3,000 likes. Let's dive straight into the Bitcoin news and then get into the indicators. I want to go into the FIB extension uh, primarily. I'll just show you a quick look at that before we dive in. I've got DJI here and I've also got Bitcoin that I want to get into because I want to show the example of how you can use this across any market. If you don't know what the DJI is, get familiar with it. It's the Dow Jones Index. When crypto goes quiet, you're going to want to know about other markets as well. So Bitcoin. Here's what I got for you guys coming up. All right, let's have a look at the news quickly because of the sentiment shift. Elon Musk, this is old news. You would have seen this by now. It's probably, uh, this came out yesterday afternoon, 24th March, 5 p.m., probably in my time zone. You can now buy a Tesla with Bitcoin. Tesla is only uh, is using only internal and open source software and operates Bitcoin nodes directly. Bitcoin paid to Tesla will be retained as Bitcoin, not converted to fiat. So this is all great news. You know, I've got some reposts, etc. You've got some smart asses here who don't understand Bitcoin. That way your Tesla can have the same greenhouse gas emissions as Hanuma. Like these guys have not done their research. Uh, Peter Schiff, always a great laugh. <laughs> Will you accept payment in eggplant NFTs? That's essentially the main news. What I'm talking about here is uh, Elon Musk puts his post up. What has he done in the past? He's put posts, Bitcoin has shot up. What happened? Miner shoot up in the charts, but what we've recently seen over the last several hours is Bitcoin has been down. It's down to 52,400 now. That's what I mean when it comes to the shift in what has happened in the past is now different. Elon Musk was posting a few weeks ago, early February, Bitcoin shoots up. He posted again, uh, again a few weeks ago, Bitcoin went up, but not as much. Now he posts about Bitcoin, which is probably some of the biggest news of course, he buys 1.5 billion, but now you can buy a Tesla with Bitcoin and there's going to stay in Bitcoin market down. This is what happens with the narrative shift. Now, before you get scared or whatever it is you can do, I'm not saying that this is the end of the market. I think this could be a minor top in the major timeframes, which is what I'm going to show you in just a moment. So that just means what others call a local top. Okay. So this isn't the end. This is just the beginning and we needed a cool down. Now I'm going to get into the FIB level. So I'm going to explain how all of this works over here and what I've got on the chart. WD GAN is where I go, which is where I started. So if you want to get into any of this sort of stuff, WD GAN, these are the books you guys ask him and Richard Wyckoff. So this book is based on volume analysis. Okay. 
So if you want to learn about that so that you're not freaking out every market turn, learn about it and it's just so much easier in life. Uh, WD Gann was forecasting the future. This is what he did. He was born 1878, died 1955, forecasting the future, put it out into newspapers. He knows his shit. And this is really of that esoteric nature, not the, the normal crap that you see these days. Extreme, extremely intelligent genius. Go out and study him. All right, enough said. We're a few minutes into the video. Let's dive into this chart here. So what I'm looking at is the Fib extension tool. And you can use this on any chart, like I've said. So what we want to look at is this tool here. I want to get the name for you guys, Fib Retracement. Where am I starting with this? Basically, the bottom of this bull market. All right, can, it, can you start anywhere with it? Yes. Uh, basically, I want to start from this point and then show you how it progresses across the rest of the market. Now, this is something that no one else I've seen talk about, and I may have even called the video exactly where to buy Bitcoin because it just happens so often, so regularly, like clockwork. Uh, if we can learn how to use the tool, it's really, really effective. Now, nothing is 100%. Nothing out there is 100%, but this is very, very close to it. And once you learn how to use it and you can flow with the tool, it makes a lot of sense. And this was developed by WD GAN. It's on your FIB tool, but GAN didn't use FIBs. Okay, so I need to explain that. 50% level is not actually a FIB level, but it comes on your FIB tool. So we're at here, we're at the bottom of 2015 low, and we're just going to use this. And all we're doing is looking for tops. So basically the rule here is to connect the major lows to the major highs. And what I'm working on is a, is a weekly chart here. And so I've got the weekly up and then all I'm looking for is a 50% drop. This seems way too easy to like make, make a sense of it all, but it takes some practice. The science of it makes a lot of a sense and is very easy. The science is connect, uh, connect a low to a high, anchor these points in, and then look for the 50%. Sometimes the 61% or the 32, uh, 38%, 50% is the strongest out of all of the figures. So that's the science, but in terms of the art and how to apply it, this is where the skill comes in. It takes a bit of time, a fair bit of time to really get uh, hone in the skill of using it. So what we're looking at here is low to the high, and then I can see a drop, and we've dropped to the the, uh, the 61%. So it's got 38 here, but we've dropped 61%. Moving to the next, 61%. Okay, so we're still at the lows here. Then we're going to move across and continue to keep this anchored to our low point and then move up to our next high. And then this starts to give us some idea of where the market is going to fall to so that we're using our major turning points. Basically, we're on the major low here, or if your chart doesn't have this number, uh, this low here in January, we've got this low in August, September of 2015. Now we get a drop just past the 50%. And as you see, as the market progresses, it becomes closer and closer to that mark. And if it drops past the 50%, then our next level to look at is our 61% drop in this FIB range. And that's where I've got this little arrow pointing. And that would have been a perfect area to buy. Had you bought at the 50%, you're still doing very well. You know, we don't need to catch the exact bottom or the exact top. So just think about that as well. It doesn't need to be the exact bottom or the exact top. Now, you can see here, another drop to the 50%. We have not crossed this high again. So this tool stays on the market until we cross the high. And that's what the blue arrows are for. So we've crossed the high. Now we can start to shift this tool up the market. Now I've got these other green arrows here because we are beginning to accumulate within this pattern and the lows are getting higher. And so they meet each of these FIB numbers or the 50% gain number, but I'm just gonna call them all FIB, num FIB numbers to make it easier. We hit the 61%, then we hit the 50%, then we hit the 61% here, or the 38%, okay? So 38 and the 61 are interchangeable. They both equal 100%, so don't worry about that too much, just like 50 and 50 equals 100. Okay, so great levels of buying support. Then we continue up the market, and all we would do on a regular day is just, we don't know what's on this side of the chart, right? We don't know what's on the right-hand side of the chart because we're trading this bit by bit. So we just continue to move this uh, FIB extension tool up the chart until we get to a high and we know that there's a high because we get a reversal. This reversal drops into the 61% sideways, drops into the 50%, another great buying opportunity. Buyers get higher. So the, buy, the buying activity begins to form higher on the chart, the higher price level. 
Now it's only falling at the 38%. Then we take off again. Time to change the Fib, move it up the chart. What do we know? 61%. So we've had a 38% drop. All right, let's move it up again. There it is, 31, 38% uh, drop yet again. What I'm going to do here is start to move it from this low. So this anchor point is getting a long way from the market action. So let's take it back to this point here. We had the breakout. Now this is our top. And just as another way to learn how to use the tool, let's bring this low up to the most recent low to get an idea of where the market may fall to. And now the first fall is to the 50%. It recovers, but we fall again. Now, what I would do here is just begin to move it back across the different lows. So this is learning how to use the tool within the art of the movement of the market. So that's all we do is just to figure out where this could fall next and to get an idea of whether we're going to finish this run or we've got some more uh, gas left in the tank. And so we continue to fall onto old support levels and it also lines up with the FIB level. So now we get a 50% move, we're moving them up, back again, and we get a nice 50% correction here. That's it. It's pretty much 50% on all of these points here, roughly speaking. All right, so now we get a breakout. Again, move it up. Let's come to the closest low, and we get a nice drop to the 61%. If we move it to the major low of that area between the breakout and the major low, bang on 50%. Okay? You notice I had the 20 MA here as well. Uh, that's the main one that a lot of people use, but I find this so much more accurate and you have more to play with. So I'm just going to take this off and just keep us here with the fib. So we get a breakout here of the blue, back to the top, move this to our lowest point. It's obviously too close to the market. And so we just move it back. We get one final, we get a good dip down to the 61%. We move it back to our low areas here or here is basically 50% and then we finish at 50%. The other thing to note with this is like, it, even if you miss it, this gives you some confirmation that while the market begins to rise through here, so you miss it, you think the, the move is over, but now the market is rising, well, you look back and go, hang on a minute, major low, major top, 50% correction, market's moving up, okay, trend is still up trend is well and truly up. Let's get back into the market. In case you got scared out of the market, sold off, and you're trying to figure out, oh, is this, is this the time to get in? Is it time not to get in? Should I wait? This is an, a good way to test that theory as well. Next breakout, continue to move this up. The next week, the next week. Again, we don't know what's on this right-hand side, so this is how we use the tool in real time. Next week, next week, no more down periods. All right, we finally get a down period. Uh, with that, Again, moving the tools up, we get a beautiful 50% drop into this point just from the closest low. We got the first drop here to 61 or the 38% drop, 50% drop. Market reverses, moves on again. You can see the, the deal here. It's pretty much every single point here is 50%, 50%, 50%. All right, I, it, this has to get like a broken record because it is so accurate. It is, it's amazing how well it works when you can mix the art with the tool itself. If you just use it really strictly, it's not gonna work as much. Once you start to get a feel for how the market works, it's an amazing tool. So keep that in mind. I'm sure there are gonna be people who would just say this is bull because you're just doing it in a retrospective and it, it doesn't work in real time. Okay, let's have a look in real time and play with it from there. So I'm gonna take this one off the chart it worked all the way up and then in the reverse as well, which I'll leave for another video because this one's getting a little too long because I want to get to the point of uh, areas that I want that I am actually watching. This I'm using this low here because this was the uh, it's a swing low. This weekly bottom went below these weeks and there was no weekly low until uh, all the way back till August. So we did not see a weekly break, a barely a weekly break here, but I'm not even going to look at that. This one is a significant weekly break to show the sign of strength in the market. So this is this is the action where we currently are. I was showing you earlier how this works in the market. And then I'll talk about Dow Jones, which is incredible, over 120 years of data to go through with this. So uh, Bitcoin, US dollar, current market action, 
let's use it from this first high where everyone freaked out in January. We had that top 50% drop. Let me zoom in so you guys can see. This was the first weekly bottom, so that's that has to be put in there. This is a lower week. That's a weekly swing low. 50% drop, reversal off 50%. All right, break of the top. Let's start to move this again. This is just a few weeks ago now into February, so a month and a half ago. Bring it up. What do you know? 50% drop. Market moves again. Okay, bring it to the top. Where are we at? 50% is going to come somewhere around $45,000. We're currently at 52,000. Of course, this could shoot up, we get another top, and then we had a, a, a retracement or a correction from that point. But for now, I'm looking at 45,000 as the first line of support, potentially 49,000, but I'm, I'm looking more so here at 45 because these levels, as, we, as, as we've come up since January's high, have gotten less and less. You don't know what I'm talking about? Let me zoom in, grab this measuring tool. There's the top, there's the next top. 39%, call it 40%. Now top to top, barely 6%, barely 7%. So they're just, they're getting a lot less, okay? So we can really start to see this market sort of rolling over. And I think this is the time that we're gonna get some good consolidation to give us that next massive leg up into those six bigger Bitcoins, okay? So I'm very excited for this to cool off for a good period of time, and I'll cover that in another video. Um, we've looked at time before on Ethereum, so it's essentially the same theory on how to do that. 40,000 to 42,000, why do I have this here? Okay, first reason is these levels here of the Fibs. So this is the first, well, this is the range here. We've hit the 50% and we're breaking through it. So I, this is too small for, for my liking. I definitely think we're gonna go at least to this range. So that gives us the 45, if not to this range here. So this is all of the range that is in the new all-time uh, new all time high territory. And so these green arrows are areas that I'm looking for support. The first one here is again, 45. So 45 is a price cluster because it lines up with this FIB uh, area. See 45 is here on the 50%, and this is a good range to be following. Then if we move it back, 45 also lines up with the 61, so the 38% drop here. It also lines up with some old support levels. So 45, a pretty good looking number. If it stopped there, I would be very happy with that as well. But if we kept coming down to these old highs at around 42, there's another good level, 40,000 to 42,000. We got a low at 43, we got a high at 42, we got a 50% at call it 40,000. So that's why I've got here 40,000 to 42,000. Now, that also lines up with this drop so we look down to about 45 is 27 percent but i'm looking for a 32 to a 36 percent uh which brings me to the there it is so that's the 42 level which is about 32 percent if i come down to 40,000, there's 36. we've seen that on the way up already so here to the low we've seen a 30 odd percent and this little one is probably not as much but we're still at about 25 percent the previous bull market we saw a lot of 30 odd percent corrections as well. So that's another reason. Now the last reason I want to put on here is the 20 moving average, currently at 36,000. So I'm just looking up here, the little red number, currently at 36,000. If this carries on for another few weeks, it wouldn't surprise me if the moving average, which has to, we're just getting the, uh, the average of the last 20 bars, would start to trend up into this area that we're looking for support around this 40,000. So let me draw a little line just to show that. Basically something like that. All right, so how many weeks out? One, two, three, who knows? Two, two to five weeks. Maybe we're down here for several months, but at least we get that touch first and then it bounce away. Many are possibilities. But this is why I'm looking for that 40 to $42,000 area. It seems so far away. It seems crazy to even think that we'd even get into the 40s, but we're currently at 52,000 now. So. I think we will at least test those 40s again. Down to this level is around that 36%. If we take more time, then around 34%. So this is pretty much what I am looking for as the exact area that I would be uh, buying into Bitcoin again. I haven't bought much on the way up. And I'd say much because I have sold some altcoins into Bitcoin. So technically that is buying Bitcoin. But in terms of like fresh money into the market, 
that's that's the area that I will be looking for. And this analysis has got me convinced that we will see somewhere between that 40 and 45,000. Now, if that doesn't happen, I have to readjust. But for now, that's what I'm sticking with because it just, it looks like we are turning over at this point from the other reasons I gave at the beginning, just to do with the news, the charts itself, the altcoins aren't hitting all time highs. Again, some of the ones that have already pumped that are trying to hit that all time high again, I'm not talking about stuff like Theta that's gone to all time highs or Harmony One or those sort of cryptos, but some of the stuff that's already pumped is showing signs of uh, lower tops. So we have seen the altcoin market take off, which you've seen in the shit perp. So I'm just going to finish up here with showing this chart. Shit perp did hit an all time high and now we've retraced from that high as well. The last one I want to look at is our total two because I think we have fallen away from that top at this stage. Yeah, so we just missed the breakout of this top at the moment. Unfortunately, it would have been great to push through that, but right now we're just sitting under that. We've had our uh, first weekly swing low put in since February 22. So maybe we've got a few more weeks down here before we take off. Ideally, it would be lovely to see Bitcoin to hit 40 to 45,000. That's where I've got my eye set, unless we just take off from this point, go to 70,000. But for now, these levels are looking pretty good. That's my exact point of uh, Bitcoin buying. So if you're ever wondering about that, what to happen next, what should I do? This is the way I am playing the market because of all of those reasons, because of over 100 years of history, thanks to WD Gann and his work on the 50% retracement tool. The last thing I wanted to show you, and I ask you if you want to go through, do this uh, research for yourself, it'll really, really cement it for you. This is the Dow Jones Industrial. The top 30 companies in the US over the last 100 and ugh, nearly 30 years, 120 years of data. So on a log scale, you can see all the way back to 1897. This is incredible to go back and do. Basically, we had falls to 50% from major areas. Uh, if you look at the, the cycles from the tops to the bottoms through those periods, almost all the way up, all the way up. And the last one, you can go back and go and, and t test this all so that you feel confident with what you are actually doing with these tools. Well, the last one we just saw was the COVID top. Now, I've got this on a log chart. That's why it looks out of whack. But if I put it on log, the GFC low to the 2020 top, the spike down was direct on the 50%. This happened 120 years of data on the Dow Jones, okay? Go back and test it. I've said that many, many times. Make sure it feels you, you feel confident with it yourself so that you can uh, adjust where need be because things change often. So just be able to adjust as the market moves. But this, this is a recent example of it on a major international market. Bitcoin, nice fresh market, 12 or so years old. It's happening again in Bitcoin. So go and use that if you're really interested. Uh, that's the areas that I'm buying into Bitcoin with fresh money again. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you want to learn more about this, I have the Investor Accelerator course. You can click a link to that in the description down below. 10% off limited time, another week or so on that. Um, so get in while the price is still the current price because after that, the price is going up. So Investor Accelerator, all about this trading, uh, learning how to rotate your profits through asset classes. Okay, guys, I'll catch you on Twitter, on Instagram, Q&As, lots of stuff going on there. If you found some value from the video, let me know, hit the subscribe button down below and hopefully we're over 100,000 subscribers by the time you are watching this video. Thank you once again, guys. I'll see you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.